It is believed that the major landmarks in Singapore follow the art of feng shui design. Even Ritz Carlton explicitly states that they follow feng shui design principles. So what exactly is feng shui? How does it work? Is it a hoax? In this video, we find out what actually goes on in a full house feng shui reading. I invited a professional full-time feng shui master to give my house a reading to see what actually goes on and how feng shui can play a part in our lives. This video was done quite a while back and I'm moving out soon. That's why I'm showing the location of my house. Master Ken, the feng shui master, goes on to give some tips and advice for my house, which I hope you can learn something from and maybe apply it to your house if you believe in feng shui so you can, you know, prosper and thrive. I don't know. So I guess Master Ken Ko is here. Let's go, yay! Excited to get my feng shui read. <laughs> hi. Morning! Hi, Master Ken. Hi, hi, hi. Nice hi. to meet you. Good to see you. Let me introduce myself, yeah. uh, Ken. I've uh, been in this business for about 25 years. What we normally do is we make sure that we're able to assess a house mm. as in an apartment like this. Our ultimate purpose is just to make sure that we're able to tap the energy from external into the house to connect to the occupants there. Yeah. So bringing in energy from external into That's the house. That's correct. I use quite a bit of tools and uh, systems and yes, we've got a tool. Awesome looking, but it's basically a compass. Based upon the information they gave me, I've actually plotted out a chart. All right, this is called a Fa Zi chart. It's a very uh, interesting diagnostic tool, I call it. Well, I'm uh, going to do what we call a direction reading. Uh, I'm going to do that and come back to you. Sounds Thank good. You. Thank you. Master Ken then proceeded out to do his uh, magic. He brought along a giant compass and started fiddling around with it. Not really sure what he was trying to calculate, but he seemed very, very serious. I mean, look at the man. This man takes his job very seriously. Look at him. He then explained that he was observing the external features of the house and whether there are any sharp edges. What I'm doing, uh, Jay, is I'm observing uh, some uh, physical features uh, externally. For example, the next building, whether or not there are some sharp corners that's coming in. The house facing the swimming pool was good though. Uh, what you have is a very good uh, facing here. Like an open space. That's right. Yeah. It's an open space. Externally, I feel that this is uh, a pretty reasonably okay formation. Just okay, yeah. Just okay. When it comes yeah. to a feng shui of a house, what we're looking for is actually the existence of qi. You can't manufacture qi. It either exists or it doesn't exist. What is qi? Qi means energy. energy. When you have the wind, in other words, the energy, you must have a body, something, to make sure that you slow down and then collect this. Collect the qi. To collect the qi. Okay. The the element yeah. that is used to collect the qi is actually water. So you had the two words, feng shui. Oh, oh yeah. I also need to tell you that the main door is not the facing of this house. So mm. this is where it receives the maximum impact of the energy. So that's the reason why I take this direction. And this direction is south. So this is called a north-south house. North, south, east. West. I was actually able to plot a chart based on what we call Sun Yen Feng Shui. Okay. Sun Yen Feng Shui means three cycles of energies. The three cycles of energies basically tells us that we are able to kind of segment this into nine sectors based upon a system mm. which we call flying stars. And it's from here that we assess sector by sector what energies is actually affecting your study area, whether or not we can actually improve on it. So tell yeah. me, uh, what are your priorities? Career, one thing. Okay. Uh, my YouTube channel, basically, that's my main thing I okay. want. Okay. Yeah. And wealth, I want a lot of abundance, a lot of wealth. You're a young man, you can do a it. A lot of money. You can take it. No problem. I want it all. No problem. But uh, yeah, basically career, wealth, relationship, a better okay. my relationship. Not that it's bad, but sure. better relationships with people like, in general. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Now I'm gonna go through with you sector by sector of the house. Mm. Right. Floor plan of the house basically has been divided into nine different sectors. And in the northwest sector, you've got what we call the five-two configuration. We don't like to see the five-two. Okay. Five-two brings about a little bit of misfortunes, a little bit of sickness. I want to ask you, how much do you cook? Really? Other than your Maggi Mi okay. instant noodle. So this area has a tendency for misfortunes. Because it is fire, yeah. it adds to this. <laughs> if we want to digest that 5-2 stars, which is basically earth element, we can introduce a metal element. What you do is, if you have some kind of space over here, go to Decathlon, buy Dumbbell. Put a dumbbell here? Yes. Metal. 
Don't yeah. use a rubber type. The metal will draw down the earth energy. I mean, what about like pots and pans? Metal. All those are uh, metal. These are too light. Right? Minimum two and a half kilos to five kilos. From what I understand so far is whichever element, then you counter the effects of one element to exactly. balance it out. Where it is negative, mm. we want to draw down that negative energy. Mm. If it's positive, if it is positive, you know, we will want out. to bump yeah. it up, yeah. kind of thing. All right, now let's move towards the uh, bedroom area. Yep. Hey. In the bedroom, you've got the 2.5 and the 5.9. A little bit of a problem here. In the bedroom. Okay. First and foremost, direction of the bed is accounted by the headboard. Mm. Uh, but you don't have a headboard. So when you're sleeping into this direction, you're tapping into the east, east direction. 2.5? Yeah. Is it good? Mm, no. No good. <laughs> Just like over there, where the uh, kitchen area and the stove is, there was a 5.2. This is a 2.5. So when you go to the catalon, Another uh, dumbbell. Uh, you got to bring back about 10 kilos of metal. <laughs> You've got to put it in there. That, in corner, that, corner. that corner. Under the bed, it's okay. So remember also one thing. I noticed that you got a charger there. Remember. Okay. If you are not using it, hmm. don't turn it on. But what we're trying to do by introducing metal is to make sure that the two five uh, earth element do not work up excessively. If a person is already going through an illness, yeah. having this as a bedroom is definitely no good. So uh, we're moving out to the living room area by far. This particular sector over here, these are the good stuff. Okay, what about here? Uh, this particular area over here, reasonably good, I'll say. So working here is actually quite productive. Yeah, all right? I do enjoy working here. Yeah, this particular stretch is one of the best. So try and make use of this stretch as much as possible. How do you make use of this stretch? Very, very simple, okay? I notice you don't have a clock. Clock? Uh, no, now this use phone to see time. Uh, when it comes to analog clock, actually, there's a lot of movements. There's one way of me uh, trying to activate a good sector. Now, the west sector over here is perfect for your inspiration. When you want to brainstorm, sit here. Okay. Now, it comes to the most juicy part, and that is I can activate the wealth over here. Yes, how do I activate my wealth? You look at this corner over here. In order for me, to attract wealth, water feature. A water feature. You don't have to have dragon coming up with water, holding the ball, uh, no need. Borrow your mother's pail, put water inside, put a pump and a light. How do we activate it? Turn it on. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Feng Shui. Energy is already out there. Mm. Where do you want the energy to stop? At the water. That's why uh, you need water here. Yeah. Okay, over here. This one interesting. The half part of the room, this part of the room. This part of the room. We'll is start. also sharing the wealth sector. Okay. Question is, can you activate both? The answer is yes. Externally, that one, you can do a water feature. Mm. Just go to Taobao and order. Yes. Lazada yeah. order. This particular corner over here, go and get a fish tank. <laughs> A fish tank. When you're sitting here, Jay, the door is there at the back. Someone moves in and now you can't, you're not in control. Mm. When you shift here, you're in absolute control. Mm. So this is a very controlled position. Mm. Plus, you've got a backing here. Plus, you are tapping into this. Plus, you're activating that. Besides feeling better, you see the results. But because your policy sectors are all within this, I'm pretty confident that there is going to be positive changes. Good to hear. Where's the best area of this house? Would you say it's this area? Balcony and here? La. Yeah. This area? Absolutely. Mm. The most delicious. Just before I tail off, I'm going to explain to you a little bit on your Pazi chart. Master Ken then went on to explain my Pazi to me, which was very detailed, but I'm going to summarize it for you. Basically, there are five elements. Metal, followed by water, followed by wood, followed by fire, fire followed by earth. And also... In your life, you will not go through a life-threatening crisis. That's right, bitches, you heard that right. I'm immortal, I'm of the metal element, and here are my characteristics. You are leaning towards things that are of beauty. Mm. Example, art, which I noticed here. Mm. <laughs> articulation. Articulation means communications. Okay. What kind of business are you in? Uh, media, yep. entertainment. Absolutely. <laughs> your work and your social interaction leans towards followers. You don't beat around the bush. Yeah. All right? that's, yeah. a, that's a point about you. Mm. It's direct. He also taught me how to manipulate you guys to rob wealth for me. And so your followers go out there and rob the money and bring it back to you. You understand? Yes. 
guys, you're robbing the wealth for me. <laughs> you must make use of these rob wealth stars in such a way that they rob the wealth for you. Take good care of them because your strength is in articulation. It would be nice to be compensated, right? I'll take care of you. Yeah. In conclusion, I learned a lot from Master Ken. Whether you believe in this or not, I think it's still an interesting experience. Obviously, I'm taking the things he said with a grain of salt, but some of the things he said were actually quite spot on. I'm not gonna include those things because some of them were quite personal. But what I liked about Master Ken was that he sounded very selfless. Like he's really here to just help his clients thrive and prosper in whatever way he can. My purpose here is to make sure that you do even better. I want to make you a star. Thank you, Master Ken Ko, for this session. If you guys would like to get a reading from him, his info is down in the description. Well, thanks again. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow! I'm going to be rich, guys. <laughs>